So back in 2016, I bought a Triumph Thruxton R, and since then I've always felt the gearing uh, is too narrow. I'm not really utilizing the engine's torque and horsepower, and if you ever have to sit on a freeway or motorway, you end up um, at uncomfortably high revs, even at 70 miles an hour. So a little bit of personal preference, but you know, I wanted something that felt slightly longer than gearing. Um, fortunately, uh, the Bonneville T120 uses the same chain pitch as the Thruxton, so it's very straightforward to simply buy the front and wrist pockets from a from Bonneville. Um, in this case, I was replacing the Thruxton 16 at the front and 42 teeth at the rear with the 17 and 37 at the Bonneville. Um, you do need quite a few tools to do the job, so you need a, a scissor jack or similar to get the whole bike off the ground so you can remove the rear wheel. Um, you'll need a 36mm socket for the front sprocket and a 27mm to get the rear wheel off. Um, you'll need a variety of other smaller sockets, I think between 7 and 12mm, but, but generally speaking, this is a very straightforward process. Um, you have to get to the front sprocket, you have to remove the, the aluminium cover and then the water reservoir, but it's literally two, two bolts for each of those. And then uh, the rear wheel is just slackening off the adjusters and then removing the main nut that holds it in place. Um, when you put it all back together, you do need to be um, super critical on the torque, um, so make sure you have a good torque wrench. Um, the front sprocket, I think, has to be torqued to 180 newton meters. Uh, the rear sprocket nuts to 55. Uh, the rear wheel nut is uh, 110 newton meters, and the uh, rear uh, adjuster bolts to 20 newton meters. Um, I would recommend you check the manual in case they have changed those settings uh, over the years, but that's uh, what the service manual for my year said. Um, the chain slack needs to be between 20 and 30 mil, and I didn't have to adjust my chain at all for this. Um, I, I have moved it slightly back on the swing arm, but I still have 5 mil more adjustment available there. Um, so that's been that's made it a much easier process. Um, the result is really that you know the Thruxton likes to idle at about 2,000 RPM, so I've kind of taken that as the baseline. Um, you can see in the video behind uh, what that looks like um, now being written. Um, all the gears are about 20% longer. First gear at 2,000 RPM is going from about 12 miles an hour to 15, uh, which is actually much closer to the T120 and to the the Tiger 1200. Um, and even I think the uh, the Rocket 3, the older Rocket 3. The sixth gear at 70 miles an hour is now about 3,000 RPM instead of 3.7 where it used to be. And on the track at about 100 miles an hour, sixth gear is gone from 5,300 down to now 4,300. So it's made it a whole lot nicer to live with. If you want more info on some of those numbers, you can look this up on gearingcommander.com which is a really great resource. But I hope you find this useful, and, and you know, if this is a similar concern you have, then I absolutely recommend you get it done. Anyway, thanks for watching.